G'day guys, today I'm going to show you how I went about building a steel ramp for my dirt jump mountain bike. I started by cutting out the length and the height pieces and then welded them together. I then took those pieces out onto my driveway where I could start the next stage measuring the radius. The radius on this ramp was 4.4 meters. So I hit a star picket into the ground and then tied a piece of rope to the star picket and measured out 4.4 meters. Using line marking paint, I marked out the ramp on the ground and using the rope measured at 4.4 meters, I marked out the radius that I could use for the next stage, bending the steel at that radius. To bend the steel, I was lucky enough to be able to borrow a steel roller. The way that this works is the side winder rolls the steel through and the top winders apply the pressure down it took a little bit of figuring out how much pressure to use, but after a while I got the hang of it and it was just a lot of elbow grease and each piece probably took around an hour and maybe 10 to 15 passes through the rolling machine. Once I knew it was close, I took the pieces out onto the driveway where I'd marked the radius to make sure that I was good. And when I was happy with that, I took it back in and welded it together and then made the second side exactly the same. After that, I prepared some cross braces the width of my ramp is 1200 millimetres because that's the width of the sheet of ply. So I cut about 10 pieces at 1200 and got ready for the next stage. I highly recommend you buy a steel drop saw. I only got a cheapo one and it worked great. Trying to use a hand grinder is just gonna kill you because there's a lot of cuts you gotta do. Once I'd prepared enough cross bracing, then move on to the next stage. I first stood one side up, used some rope that was in the shed just to hold it in place while I welded on a couple of the cross braces. Once I got a couple of those up, I was able to stand up the second side, tack weld a couple more cross braces on, and then I was good to put all the rest on. I did get a little bit of outward bowing on the radius pieces, so to pull those back in, I just used some tie down straps and that helped hold it in the right spot so I could weld on the cross bracing. Also, one of the radius pieces wasn't exactly the same as the other one, so I just got a helper to press down in a couple of spots so I could tack weld some upright bracing.
I then started putting some more bracing in, starting with the corner piece and then adding where I thought needed. Once I got a few pieces in, I then walked up and down to see where it flexed to know where I needed to put more bracing. I then flipped it on its side so I could weld all the bits that I couldn't get from above. As you can see, it's quite heavy by this point. I then gave it all a good clean. I used sandpaper and then metho on a rag to get it ready for painting. I painted all the welds with primer paint and anywhere else that the blue paint had rubbed off. And then painted the whole ramp black. I used 12mm ply and it was about this point that I realised I'd made a mistake. The mistake was right there where the join is, I forgot about that part so I had to cut another piece so there wasn't a gap in between. I then couldn't figure out how to get the alligator clamp on because I'm an idiot but we got there. Once I'd welded another piece on at the join, I was good to go. I used a few clamps and then proceeded to screw it all down. Something wasn't quite square, so all I did was measure the big gap, drew that on the other side, cut a little diagonal off, and then it joined up beautifully. ramp built, it was on to the next stage, painting. Yes, I had to paint the bottom again because I'm an idiot, should not have done that. With the paint, I put a little bit of sand in there just to add a little bit of grip and it's worked beautifully. And so that's pretty much it. I made myself a nice big roll in and made a nice mulch down ramp. As you can see, works lovely. Good luck with building your own if you're going to do it and let us know how you go. Cheers guys. Adios.